It's Bill, the computer guy again. How you doing today? Today we're looking at hard drives. <laughs> I've got a bunch of them over here. I'm testing out here in the broad daylight. So I bought this fancy <laughs> three-in-one thing. This is the second one I bought. The first one worked out good until I shoved the uh, I shoved the hard drive on it. Uh, halfway and uh, yeah so basically if you don't get it in there perfectly and you you could screw it up so that's what I did on the last one so I bought another one this one came from Hong Kong unfortunately this did not work at all so anyway I'm back to the old school stuff we've got external power supply and your standard set up here and so this one basically plugged it in came right on I like to put it on my lap so I can feel it see if it's coming on feel if it's making any weird noises and so some of, some of the hard drives that I get um, are wiped some of them actually have windows on them so I'm really excited about these things if I can find a hard drive and match it up to a motherboard and so this one here it came on you want to view the files basically so we're viewing the files right now and we see that it looks like it came from an Intel machine so it's, yeah it's Intel chipset so basically if we can find an Intel machine this may just fire up on Windows and run just like that. So that's what I like about these. And so, this one here, when you take it out, you have to make sure and go down here to the bottom right or wherever your little icon is and then check your USB uh, connections and then eject. Uh, this is my USB ATA bridge. So make sure you eject it if you want to save those files. And then and you can put it, you can hook another one up and test it. Okay, so I just hooked another one up. This is a little old 80. And so it says uh, device driver software uh, being installed. So I can feel it running, it's not clicking or making any noises. I just went through a whole batch of them here. And these were all the laptop drives that are clicking or not showing up or they've got some problem. I uh, have to recycle or do something with here. So this one here seems to be okay. Software has been installed correctly. So first thing I do is I uh, Usually what will happen is a box will come up this is Windows 7 a box will come up and say what do you want to do with this and then I Usually try and view the files to see which kind of chipset it's running on so I can put it in another computer that with the same similar chipset so So if I'm lucky I can just run Windows off the hard drive in a new uh, computer a lot of people pull their, com their hard drives out of their computer when they um, recycle their computers. And so some people destroy them, some people save them. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go to uh, computer first thing. And we see that this drive did not show up in my computer. It's not showing up. It's an 80. It should be here showing an 80. Okay, so let's... Uh, Close this down, we'll go up to my computer and then right click and then manage. And then we go disk management. And this drive should show up here. Okay, so it does show up here. It says uh, the device, uh, the drive must be initialized. Drive one, Let's see what happens. 
so it's showing initializing disk. Okay, so this this disk has been wiped. So uh, that disk is clear, so we don't. Um, have any data on it and so basically from here we just I'm just gonna close out and then again when you when you disconnect it this one doesn't isn't gonna matter too much because there's no data on it I guess but I was do this just because I was taught this go down here and click your USB devices and eject that USB ATA bridge Okay, so I got this 500 Western Digital. Not people, people are not always saying the best things about Western Digital. So this one actually has an operating system and it came up with open folder view file. So, and when I find out what kind of chipset this thing is running on, I will try and match it up with a similar recycled computer and I've donated many of them to community centers. There's no personal information on these things. Um, and usually, unless you've got some bank information on these things, I don't really see any reason to, to wipe them. Um, unless you have your personal diary or something on there, you might want to just erase that. But I don't really, I don't really see any reason to you know, smash these things and destroy them. Well, they still could be used. We've got resources here that could be used for the original purpose. And that's, we're talking about upcycling here. So basically we see this one was also run. It has an Intel and Intel chipset. So it's got Intel chipset. So this is, this is from an Intel machine and it has an operating system on it. Um, so basically, um, this one here can be put in an, in an Intel machine, theoretically. It may or may not come right up on Windows, but that's, that's what we're talking about here. Um, recycle, re reuse, repair. So once again, I always go down here to um, on my uh, down here to check and see what's running, or, and click on safely remove USB device, eject ATA bridge. And so we have this one hooked up. It's it comes on, but it's not being recognized. It may take a minute, but. HP I got. Okay, so there it is. Got this HP from the guy on Craigslist. He had a fire and the machine smelled like it was burnt. It had a little bit of char on the outside of it, but um, it's been a good computer for me. Okay, so it says device is ready to use. So we'll go and it should, if it has an operating system, usually it'll come up and say, um, open folder view files. And so since that didn't come up, I think that it probably has been wiped. Um, and so, the question I always get at, often get asked is, yeah, we're just going to open computer and see if it shows up. So it does not show up. So the question I always get asked is, if I, if you wipe my computer hard drive, will that destroy all the data? And so basically, well, theoretically not, because if you, you know, there there are ways apparently to uh, recover data that's been overwritten, but how many people want to go through the trouble of that kind of stuff to find your personal love letters or whatever um, to, 
you know, reuse, steal your data. You know, it's like you have to be a sort of a reputable person to have the technology to read overwritten data as far as I'm concerned. So here we're going to computer and then disk management again and see if this one will show up. And then so we're running a little slow on the draw here. So when this happens, usually there's a problem with the drive. And so, okay, there it is. Okay, so the disk must be initialized. So this is Windows 7, so it automatically initializes the disks. It'll come up, come up and ask you if you want to initialize it. So this one here is still uh, initializing. It's a two, it shows, what is it? Okay, error. Cyclic redundancy check. Okay, so it only shows 232 gigabytes, and yeah, that's what it is, 250. So let's try this again. We're going to click, go here, disk one, right click, and then initialize, and it's probably going to say the same thing, okay? Um, here we go. Uh, you, you must initialize, okay? Let's, let's do that, initialize. So it's gonna see what it's gonna do. Usually it'll go first first shot. Okay, so it, cyclic redundancy check. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but basically in my world this hard drive is is uh, recyclable material. And so once again we go down here and safely remove hardware, even though it's probably not reusable and inject the AT a USB bridge. Okay, safe to remove. So I got my little power set up there. Okay, so I've got another hard drive hooked up. This is Seagate 3000 gigabyte. This camera I got at the pawn shops. Sometimes it focuses well, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway. So it's saying here, device driver software installed. Okay, so and once again, if there's something on this hard drive, usually it'll pop up and say, okay, what do you want to do? View the files or what? And so, since there's nothing coming up, I go here to computer, and is this getting boring yet or what? My teacher used to say, can we have any more fun than this? Then we go to, we're just going to open here first. We open and we see that it's not showing up in my computer. And so we're going to go back to my computer, right click and manage. And we're going to go here, disk management. And so, okay, you must initialize this disk. Okay, so we're going to initialize it. Okay, data error, cyclic redundancy check. Okay, so this, this, this hard drive is bad as well. Um, it's only showing 3.86 gigabytes. Eight. Okay, let's try it again. So we go to disk one here, right click, and then initialize disk. That's how Windows XP does it. It doesn't normally come up by itself, I believe. Okay, we're gonna try it again, okay. Data error, cyclic redundancy check. Okay, so this is another bad hard drive. So that's how I tell if hard drives are bad or not. Um, sometimes what I'll do is, for instance, if you've got a virus attack, I'll 
will hook the hard drive up separately and scan the virus, scan with the virus scanning software with the hard drive separately. And the way I explain it, basically you're coming in the back door uh, and you come in the back door on your hard drive and you can clean a lot of crap up that's, that's, that can't normally, normally be cleaned up when you go in the front door, basically. Uh, what I mean by the front door is basically when you fire up your computer, the virus goes, okay, he's turning me on now and recognizes its environment and kind of screws things up from there. But uh, when you go, in, you go in the back door, you go in a roundabout way where the virus doesn't really recognize what's going on. So that's why I say the back door.